Welcome to the view by DJ SPRC. Today we're going to talk about LEDs. I've been asked a question multiple times. How do I plug my LEDs in my vehicle? What kind of LEDs can I use? And the main one i have been asked is how do I plug them in? There's a couple, well, there's a couple, more than a couple kits out there on the market of LEDs you can physically buy. The most important I would suggest to follow is the voltage. Because I would say 95% of all speed controls out there will supply minimum of 5 volts. All the newer ones will supply you at least 6 volts and different amperage. That's another thing you have to consider here. If you have a certain servo, and if you know that servo basically consumes a lot of current, uh, the amount of LEDs you add will draw some current. Your servo might need a little more. It might cause you issues, but there's always ways to fix that. You could go for an external BEC or even an external battery itself. Now in front of us here, we do have a couple of kinds of LEDs. Uh, the ones I use mostly of is the RC four wheel drive ones like I have right here. This is a kit that you plug in your receiver and it just wires out to multiple LEDs. It's part of this family here and I'll show you something on these guys in a minute or two here. This kit here has a box that does the distribution of power. And this kit here gives you some room to plug other ones. You have spare ports here. You can plug uh, other sets in them. And I do have like a squared one, squared one, something like that. <laughs> These are basically square lights. Uh, they have basic a servo plug on it, like this guy here. And they plug directly in your receiver. You can put a Y if you want to. All great LEDs. And I have a set here that I bought at my local hobby shop that comes with different colors. They had red, blue, and white. These are the blue ones, these are the white ones. These are six volts. All of these here are six volts too. Power in. But where's the difference? You have to be careful if you do grab a kit like these guys or this one here and you want to remove some LEDs uh, or you want to extend the wires or you want to grab certain ones and put them in another kit. You have to be careful because these guys here have resistance, resistors. Not really not sure if she's going to want to focus. Come on. I guess she doesn't want to. Being very, very difficult. Try to come a little bit closer. There we go. You see the resistors right here. And basically what the resistance does, uh, downgrades the voltage. Because physically, these LEDs here, they're not six volts. They're probably three volts. Now, if you overpower an LED, it's just gonna light super bright and die. Because it is a diode. Now, with this resistor, what it does, reduces the voltage, lets the LED light up, and the extra voltage is dissipated in heat. After a while, these guys are running, if you touch touch the connection here, you'll feel some heat on it. That's 100% normal. This is these guys here. This, like I said, this is the kit I use in the Project Cherokee that I have right here. I do have a video that I do show how I did this, but basically I have two sets in front. I have amber and white. They follow the trail of wires here to back to the back. In the back, I have 
sorry about that noise if you can hear it I have a set of uh, red and I have a set of white if I remember correctly set of red of RC Fuel Drive and I have a set of white from the one from my local hobby shop that goes in the tail lights here and they go back to here connects to this guy here if I ever ever want to remove the light bar I have on top for some reason and sometimes when I bring it to my local hobby shop and display it I just want the lights on the cab itself to light up I plug it in here I made myself an adapter and uh, this is what I did on this guy To be able to plug these guys, all of these guys here will have a servo plug in them, like this guy. And basically, this plugs in the spare port of your receiver. Doesn't matter which port you grab, it will give up power. And again, it is your spiritual that supplies power. I heard some rumors or read some stuff online, basically that people are saying not to plug them in in your battery port or your bind port it does not matter in which port you plug them in you could even wire off the throttle the thr and just grab power if you wanted to it's still going to work with a wire that's one of the good things now just to simulate that because this speed control i have here there's no wires I'm going to plug this guy here in my battery port. Okay. Let's separate those wires here. Put them like this. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab this kit. I'm just going to make sure to separate them. And I'm going to grab this kit here. I have a set already tied together. And we're going to put negative to negative. And positive to positive. And we're going to go to our receiver here. We're going to grab our black one. Twist them together. Now again, just to make sure nobody, not, none of these guys touch each other. Now my battery here will simulate my voltage. This is a six volt, an IMH battery. This is from Team Bread Hobbies. Now if I plug this in, Again, I'm going to choose any port. It doesn't matter. For the test, at least. Once in, you're in your vehicle, it will matter. Now, if you can physically see... I'm just going to put my fingers to prevent them from touching. These guys light, light it up. And the air Super Drive Kit, the smaller ones are uh, red and amber. And the local hobby shop are, again white and blue and basically just the way I did them plug them through my receiver and they light it up I'm gonna unplug them here there we go now let's say you buy a kit Let's say you buy this kit or even this kit or even these guys here. What you can do if they're not long enough, you can physically cut them and extend the wires. This guy or even this guy here, there's a couple of ways you can do it. This you can mount in your body and have your wires and just the main power. You can extend that with an extension, servo extension. Even these guys here, you can do the same thing too. Or if you want to do a custom 
custom setup like I did like this guy here, all the wires has been extended. Basically what I did, these here I extended uh, more than link, half an, uh, a link and a half longer than this vehicle itself. That way I, I would have room to route them. I'm not sure if you're gonna see it here, but there's a bundle here. I did not want to recut them. I just bundled them together and put them in a corner. The only thing you have to make sure if there is a resistance to leave it there in line. On a negative, you won't, but the resistors are on the positive side. There's one for each strand. Because so I got two LEDs here, two more here, that's four total. And that gives us four positive. One resistance for two positive. That's enough to reduce the voltage for these guys here. And the other ones are six volts. You could go to your local electronics shop and buy some, self, some LEDs by itself. You just need to make sure the voltage they are. Uh, some you'll need to put in series, some you'll be, need to put in parallel to make sure the voltage is fine. But that's going to be a complete different video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified next time I upload a video, hit that bell notification. And thank you for watching.